Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I hope everyone's having a great week. I was anxious and excited to uh, share my finished flip through here of this mushroom journal. So I'm going to try to show you a quick flip through and not repeat any of the things that we already did and talked about this journal in the last three videos. <laughs> this is the fourth one where uh, we worked on it in the last three and now, you know, now I'm done. So this is the tie closure. I use a little um, seam binding here and it was the skinny kind like this and it does have a fold. So if ever, whoever gets this journal wants to unfold it, you could unfold it like that. You could scrunch it up or you could unfold it and iron it so it stays flat. But I thought it was cute like this skinny and tied around. It's wrapped around a couple times, put plenty of it here to wrap around. So that was, I thought that was fun. And then here's how the, the cover turned out. You know, uh, like I said, I'm not gonna repeat everything I did on the cover because that's in the last three videos. But just to give you a look of how it turned out, here's the back and here's like, here's how it looks on the side. Turned out very beautiful, lots of paper in here. I did add a few pieces of things after the last video or the video where I added pages. Uh, even or even after the third video where I was getting ready to sew in the pages I didn't sew them in and I kept adding a, few, a couple of pages so there's a few more pages than than you have seen <laughs> so we'll get us get started uh, here's the inside pocket here the crochet pocket where I added a little pin right here just for I don't know I just thought it looked cute there a few bits here some note paper pretty note paper just folded it up so it would fit in there nicely. Um, all these types of bits are from tags and journaling cards from the kit. So lots of those in there. And so here we go with the uh, pages from the kit. I won't say it's a page from the kit because they're all from the kit. And I'll tell you if it's not. How about that? I'll tell you if it's not a page from the kit. <laughs> so here's a pocket with some little bits of the die cuts that Sherry Smear had sent the directors to use in the journals that we're doing. And you all know this is a project that Studio at 28E uh, directors designed the digital kit, the mushroom theme. And then uh, we're offering it during the month of September for free. This is a piece from my stash that I put in here for you to have fun with, a little invoice paper there and I love the color of that. This is uh, from the digital, or not from the digital, this is from the decoupage kit that I had found at an antique store and it had pieces you could cut out and decoupage onto something. So I put a piece right there. I think it's really cute with this little smiley uh, inchworm, a tab here. That one's from the kit. The uh, extra pieces or scraps from the upholstery that was used, I used to make tabs and paper clips. So that's two of the paper clips. This is some ribbon on that one. And then that is holding on some, these are just some vintage uh, items from my stash, a Rolodex card, address book refill, and a calendar page. Uh, I always try to add, you know, some of my thrifted goodies, that's what they're for, uh, to add to my journals. A little pocket here with two tags. And I love this eyelash trim. I had received that a while ago in Happy Mail. And I just love it. It's like short eyelashes that are close together. If you ever um, work with eyelash trim, you, you'll notice that they all, they're all different. So it's re really cool to notice <laughs> the differences. You know what I mean? Some are long eyelashes and some are spread far apart. They're, it's really cool. This is a short page I added with some lace. You know, I wanted to add a variety of sizes a little bit if I could, you know. Pretty mushroom page here with a pocket. On this pocket, I added some lace with a mushroom right here. And then I put a little mushroom surprise here. This is from the decoupage kit that I was just telling you about. A tiny piece right there. And I think it has a little inchworm on it also. And there was like, on that page, uh, you, you cut out the pieces that you're going to use. And then there was a little sample of you know all the pieces that came in the kit and that was one of the samples and I cut that out too <laughs> a little fussy cutting cutting there and uh, put it right there's a little mushroom surprise inside that flip up 
So this this page, a couple of the die cuts from Sherry piece there, and the tab, and uh, let's see, this is a little bull pin here with a pretty little flower charm on it that I received in Happy Mail, and a little flip up here instead of fabric. I have like a little paper flip here of this pretty mushroom piece. Here I added my telegram, copy of my telegram that I use in some of my journals as an inside pocket. So in here I put a lot of the papery bits that I didn't use from the kit and added those right there. It's a nice big pocket to keep things in and those are for whoever gets this journal. There's a tab there. All the tabs are sewn on. Uh, well, this is my page here that I designed and I've added a flip up that's sewn on with this playing card. I added this mushroom. I thought it looked so pretty on the playing card. It looks like it was always there, but it just looks so pretty. The contrast of the blue and the red there. And this is naturally aged. I didn't add any distressing on there. A library card and guest check from the kit. Those are my designs. <laughs> I really had fun with this designing and, you know, making this journal. Flip out here. This is some cool paper I'll show you in just a second, but it's got that pretty stenciling. I added that after the video, and I found it on my weekend trip. I just um, went on, and this this a whole box of this eight and a half by fourteen inch paper. It's um, let me sh let me sh this is what it sounds like. It's not like resume paper. It's not onion skin, but it reminds me of onion skin, but it's much thicker. It almost feels like wax paper but it's called typing paper, just in case you've ever encountered it. And I, as soon as I got home, I I copy dyed some, <laughs> like the very, almost the first hour I got home, I was like, I have to see what this paper does when you coffee dye it. And this is a piece of it right here is uh, my point. So I had to use a piece in here because I thought it was so cool. Ledger paper here with a little tuck down here. This was a little scrap and I wanted to use it. So I, added some of those die cuts and little it's like a belly band too it goes through and I added a little tag there so that was fun some lace on this page a pocket here with some of the die cuts this is a vintage uh, bridge tally score sheet a different size I love I have I haven't found these different sizes very often but I found a couple of them in my you know thrifty adventures and I put one there and then some bits from the kit. Uh, the loose bits like this right here you could use to make a pocket or tuck spot somewhere. Or you, these are tickets so you can actually cut these apart and use them in, in some way. So that's why I just you know added those there. Some different trim on this one. This is another trim that I had received from the same person that sent me that eyelash trim. And it's so pretty. I thought it went well with the journal too so I put it on that tag. I use it on some other tags in here. So here's some, this is the trim we did on video here. So, and then this is the big, you know, a big wide clip out that I added with some, you know, a hinge here that I made from a piece from the kit, the pretty polka dot page. And that goes in there. And then here I have paper clipped a couple of bits from my stash, a flash card, and this is a playing card that I cut out with a punch. I just cut this little square out. It's a scallop square to have fun with. So you can, you know, do something fun with that. And then it's a little flip out here, so I didn't have to cut that off. I wanted to, you know, trying to not to make scraps. And I added a little piece like a belly band from the kit right there to decorate. Uh, here on this page, I added some the baby rickrack or the little skinny rick rickrack here burgundy to match and i think it turned out so pretty on that page i never crisscrossed it before but i added this and i thought let me see what this looks like and there it is i think it's really pretty and then on the side there is a pocket made from the guest check and this is um <clears throat> this is a piece from the kit where i added another type of coloring of eyelash trim that's different colors there that's also very beautiful and i got that from the same person that sent me a bunch of eyelash trim and little things like that uh, this is from my kit uh, from my stash little things that i've made to put in my journals copies of things and printouts i've done where i've coffee dyed them and printed them out i just thought they were neat little things 
that could be used in uh, writing, collaging, whatever you want to do, decorating pages. I think they're just really pretty. Coffee dyed doily. And here's some stamping that we did together right here. A pocket here. And I did go back and I said I didn't know what I wanted to do with these pockets, but I did decorate it here with a piece from the kit. This is from my stash, a little um, address book page. You know, all my things for my thrifty tr trips are, you know, adventures are vintage. So that's a little vintage address book. And then a few bits here. Journaling cards, a little piece that you can use as a decoration if you would like. And a pretty little tag with some more of that eyelash trim. This is uh, this is one page I snuck in here. <laughs> it's from a gnome book. And I figured gnomes hang out on mushrooms or live around mushrooms or under mushrooms or something and I thought it would be cute so uh and oh and it had mushrooms on this side too that's why I picked out this page so there's a gnome on this side and then there's mushrooms on this side and I thought that was really I looked through my gnome book and looked for some mushrooms and that's a thrifted book too uh there we go another little pocket and some pieces there this is the center and I got out my little bronze butterflies here because I forgot to put some things on the string. So I'm going to, I got those out so I would remember to add some butterflies to the strings. But I left the strings uh, just the same length as when I tied the book together and bound it together so that I could have plenty of string to tie on some mushrooms and not, you know, have too short of string. So that's what I'm going to do after the video. Here's the other side of the gnome page. So pretty. I love it. Uh, I wish I wanted to put more in here, but it got, you know, <laughs> I was getting carried away and I had to stop. So here's another, uh, what I was talking about, bridge score sheet. This is from a bridge score pad and it's really just old and uh, a, a little tiny thing. So I thought that was cool when I found that at a thrift store. I was so excited. And then here's some little bits here from the kit. Some pretty mushrooms here I used to decorate that pocket. And here's just some stamping that we did together. Pocket here, or side po tuck pocket, with some pieces there. Journaling card and a tag, and some of that pretty eyelash trim there. And then the doily. So we're on the back half, here is a, let's see, this is the, this is the uh, music page, coffee dye music made into an envelope. There is a little journaling card there. I decorated it with a mushroom there and a little tiny mushroom right here. And there's a pocket behind it also. So I've got two tags in there so that you can see where it gets is that will remind you that there's a pocket in back and then the envelope inside. So here's the uh, more of the Rick baby Rick rack here that says same page on the other side. You know, so it's crisscrossed here. And then this page is decorated. Oh, this is a fold out here where I put another belly band there to decorate. Some more, of the, this is, we did this stamping together on a video. And then I added a mushroom after the video from the decoupage kit that I found, the one I found at the antique store. And then this is a little belly band. This is how I use the belly band in this journal. I like to um, do this sometimes and just put it across the page. I added some lace also on top of that, and then I used it to hang this envelope. I thought that was, I like to do that, just kind of hang something on it like that, instead of doing it sideways. Um, and then you have, still have the whole page to do something with. And you have the envelope here. That, and I added, um, I cut this out of um, <clears throat> the postcard that is with the kit, this little quote right here, and put it on the envelope. And then added this little bit, fussy cut those flowers out. Oh, no, no this, this is not the fussy cut flowers. Sorry. There are some flowers like this that you can fussy cut. This was already on this envelope. That's right. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I'm not trying to make up things here. Uh, this piece I put on the front of the envelope to uh, decorate the front there. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I when I saw those flowers, when I first saw those flowers, I was like, I need to fussy cut, cut those out and put those somewhere, but I didn't do it there. <laughs> So here's another short page. This is from a little notebook that I had picked up, you know, at a thrift store. And I think I 
coffee dyed or avocado dyed this. It's very light if I did. And uh, so another little, you know, to add variety in the sizes of pages, a little page there. And this is the pretty paper. This is a, let's see, this is my fold out, flip down, flip up, flip down. So here I just added some paper. This is paper from the kit. And then I decided to add that postcard where I cut out the quote. I cut out the other pieces right here and put them right here to decorate on this piece of the envelope. So yeah, that's what it came out like when you when I cut it out, the quote was right here. So yeah, I think that really added a nice touch and went well. You know, here's the postcard, here's the page from the kit. Those colors just went really well together. I really like how that turned out. And lace over here. So this is composition book paper. I uh, put another charm on this uh, tab right here. It's a little bronze cross and bold pin there. And this is the uh, little kind of bag and coin envelope collage we did together. I added this tag here as a decoration on the glassine bag and then added a tag to this bag, bag glass, it's a coffee dye glassine bag. I glued it down so that this is also a pocket behind here. Like I didn't put anything here, but you can put something back there. And then you also have the pocket or the coin envelope where you can put something. So there's three spots, you know, here. And then the little trims are on the tags there. Oh, and we did this together too the stenciling and the rubber stamp. There's a mushroom rubber stamp right there. And here's the fold out of that cool paper. Really nice sound. And here's another, the other side of that page where I had the side tuck. There's a side tuck here too with another flash. Um, this is like a flash card. And here I have a tag in there. And two little pieces from the kit are in here, right? Here's one and here's one. And that's all sewn together. And here's the other side of the pocket with the telegram. And here also, I put a bunch of pit, bits from the kit that were extra. A little, this is a pretty little thing here on this that I got in Happy Mail. It's so delicate, but it's so pretty uh, that I hung on this. I just love it. <laughs> and you can hang something else on there too if you wanted. You could add to these little pins if you had something else you wanted to hang. You could have more than one thing on there. But that's just a pretty little delicate <clears throat> charm there. So, <clears throat> it's morning. I'm drinking my coffee. My voice, it's pretty much awake, but <laughs> I think it's still waking up. So, some bits in this. Uh, I think this is a flip up, my right. I added this pretty mushroom here. Or actually, this is two mushrooms I added here that went together. And this one had some blue in it. And it went with that little polka dot right there and I just like think that turned out really cute and this is a flip up right there and added lace to this page a couple bits here on this paper clip there's oh there's a few bits there's a couple of little pockets that you can use in this journal if you would like and another uh, punch out from the I think I did the king and the, the other one I think the other one was the king and this is a queen but this is a little punch out scallop square from a playing card and uh but here's a little thing something that just came to my into my head one day when i was finishing up this journal uh this is a coin envelope so uh, i'll show you what it is it's um kind of a secret little journaling spot okay so what you see is a coin envelope and you think oh this is here to hold it closed so you have this little baker's twine tie here to hold the coin envelope closed you open the coin envelope but what do you find a little secret journaling spot <laughs> that just this just came into my head one morning and I thought it would would be fun to cut I've never done it before and it just popped in my head and I was like why don't I cut this down the middle and make a secret little journaling spot here inside the coin envelope I don't know why I never thought of it before and I don't know why it popped into my head that day but and I put a little tag in there but there you go that's an idea for that I got to remember to do myself <laughs> is to cut open the or you can do it with any envelope like that. Uh, cut it open, make a little door like that, and there you have a secret little journaling spot inside. And maybe it's done been done before, but uh, I just you know <laughs> thought it would be fun, and so I did it right here. 
and I, and I put it in the back so that it, like if somebody really did want to have a secret little drilling spot, it's kind of hidden in the back so that you know when you see it, you don't know that that opens up, right? <laughs> so fun little thing there. Uh, decorated with this pocket's decorated with some of the bits. I layered uh, a couple of them or, or a few of them here. There's three pieces from the pieces that Sherry sent. There's a leaf, the flower was separate, and this little piece was separate. And I put them all together. I think they look really pretty, like almost like they came that way. So bits from the kit, some more of that pretty eyelash trim. And we're at the back. Let me check my time. Yep, yep, we're doing good. We're doing good. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I was finishing the, up the, this last night. I just have had tons, tons, and tons of fun with this journal. If you want to get a fun kit and you like my mushrooms, go join. If you're not a member, uh, Studio 28E, you can get this kit for free during September. And then it's going to be in all of our, the directors, the five directors. It's going to be in our shops for sale after that. <clears throat> But run over there if you want it, and we'll contact one of us, and we'll get it to you. But um, here's bits from the kit. This is a big tag. I wanted a big. I wanted big elements in the back here. So a big bingo card, a big tag where I added a piece of lace here. Oh, uh, that butterfly was on there, and a scrap from the fabric, and these two pieces. And like the last thing I did last night when I was adding charms to the tabs, I was looking at this key. I put a key right here. Like I said, I was trying to add like tactile things and this is tactile because it's metal. You've got your crochet and you've got a ribbon and you've got a pretty key here. And I just thought that was, I put it on, first of all, I love this key. So I've been like hoarding it in my stash <laughs> and it, and I found, I actually found this key somewhere. I found it in a store. Okay. I found it laying like on the floor and I picked it up and it, didn't seem to belong to anyone or anything, so I brought it home. <laughs> I think I brought, found it in the store. So anyway, I've always liked it. I always thought it was pretty. I don't know what it was from, but it, uh, I decided to tie it right there. I just used the ribbon that came on it and tied it. You know, have all these little holes here, so why not? You know, and like in the front, I put that pin, an upholstery pin, and in the back, I just pictured if someone was actually, you know, it, it, those two things I did because I picture someone that's using the journal actually doing that. Like, like I didn't do that, even though I did. <laughs> this, this belongs to someone. It's like, I'm pretending like this belongs to someone. And that's an element I picture someone using a journal. Like if I was using my journal, I picture myself putting a pin here and I picture myself or someone using this journal adding this key here so that's why i added those two elements i just thought it was really cool and something that someone using a journal would do is put a put a special key right there you know what i mean and on this pin you can actually add some beads if you want some little beads that would fit on there so um you just have to be careful because you have to have a place to pin it on but uh anyway lots of fun lots of fun and this uh uh, will be in my shop by the time this video is published. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to add some butterflies. That's why I have these out to the middle strings. I forgot to do that. So I got my little bronze butterflies. I have some dragonflies in here. I'm going to add some to the middle strings just so you know there will be some charms on those middle strings that you know you used to bind the journal. I need to add butterflies to that or something, a charm, so that I, I forgot to do that and this morning when I was getting ready to do it. Or last night, I realized I got them out last night when I finished. I was like, oh, I didn't add any charms. So I'm going to do that now. And so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the whole process. And uh, I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.